now on Coast TV News. Blowing through stop signs, some drivers have just not caught up to the changes that have been made at a dangerous Milton intersection. More room to walk, how bigger fines to businesses on the Ocean City Boardwalk could improve your time at the beach. Celebrating Juneteenth, music, gatherings, commemoration, the importance of this national holiday, plus how Delmarva is taking part. This is Coast TV News at 6. Many drivers still not hitting the brakes on a safety change in Milton. Good evening. I'm Madeline Overturf. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 6. We begin tonight with how Dell Dot's solution to a busy intersection, how that's faring here in Milton. For a week now, a new four-way stop has been in effect. It's at Harbison Road, Shingle Point Road, and Chestnut Street. According to Dell Dot, the change was necessary to better safety and visibility, but some drivers are questioning if this is a solution at all. Joining us live now in Milton is Coast TV News reporter Alisa Weber. Alisa, you spoke with people to see how they feel about this change. Maddie and Charlie, before the change, there were only two stop signs at this intersection. But Delta added two more, this stop sign right behind me, and this one over here, making it a four-way stop. But some people I spoke with today said that not all drivers are stopping at the stop signs like they should. This intersection in Milton used to look like this, but now it looks like this. In order to increase safety and visibility, Delta has created an always stop here at the intersection of Harbison Road, Shingle Point Road, and Chestnut Street. Lucinda Cashmanian, who lives right next to the intersection, says not all drivers are abiding by the stop signs, like this driver. I think initially you have to be very careful. People are getting used to it. I'm certainly going to stop and look every way even if I am the first one there just to make sure no one is going to go through it but you know hopefully there's so many of them now that I think people are getting used to four-way stops. Another problem Cashmanian says is that stop signs are causing more traffic but you know it's a small price to pay for safety. Craig Kern who rides his bike around Milton every day says this change was needed as more people move to and visit the area. Uh, a lot of out-of-towners that come in they don't realize that the speed limit is 35 or 25 and they're constantly doing 40, 50 miles an hour, which is really crazy. Got a lot of bikers, a lot of pedestrian walkers, so it's, it's good to slow them down. Deldot says the purpose of this project is to increase visibility because depending on which way you are driving, certain turns have a blind spot. Deldot says since 2020, there have been nine accidents right here, and this project is temporary to see what will work. In Milton, I'm Elisa Weber, Coast TV News. Thank you, Elisa. And this brings us right into our Coast TV poll. We want to know if you think four-way stops are effective for traffic safety. Let's take a look at the updated results from last news hour. 79% say yes, 21% say no. If you haven't voted yet, you still can do that. Yeah, it's easy to do. Go to coasttv.com or use our Coast TV mobile app. Sticking with the theme of traffic, we now go to Bethany Beach, where the speed limit on State Route 26, it's been officially reduced. The change follows an assessment by the traffic group, a national traffic engineering firm, which recommended lowering the speed limit from 35 to 30 miles per hour just within town limits. Delta officials hope that this adjustment will make it safer for pedestrians, especially during our busy summer season. We're a young family and we've been riding our bikes around a little bit more. And so something like that would make me feel more comfortable, maybe more awareness for people that are out of town, not comfortable driving these. We're not familiar with these roads. The speed limit change to Route 26 is going to be effective right away. We have a new update on the latest court decision involving the man accused of being involved in the deadly hit and run Ocean Pines case that killed 14 year old Gavin Knupp. The Maryland Supreme Court has rejected a petition by Tyler Mayu. What this means is it upholds the appellate court's order of returning the trial to Worcester County Circuit Court. The case was originally dismissed in that court when the judge stated it should have been filed in district court. Sussex County has laid the foundation for its new budget. County Council has officially voted to approve the proposed $265.8 million budget. That's for the 2025 fiscal year that begins on July 1st.
The property taxes remain unchanged, but annual sewer fees, those are going to go up by $10 and an additional $15 for unmetered water. We have a full breakdown of where you can find copies of the budget on coasttv.com. And it's not just the county. Fenwick Island is going to be taking a closer look at the town budget tomorrow. The Budget and Finance Committee will be talking about the updated draft of fiscal year 2025 budget. Officials are specifically looking to see how dredging could impact the budget as well as rental tax rates. The committee will also speak about a proposed fee schedule recommendation to town council. Georgetown officials have a busy night coming on Monday. At the town council meeting, officials will have the first reading of an updated ordinance that would outline regulations for recreational marijuana businesses. This comes after the town debated a few changes and additions at a previous reading. Council will also share an update on the Springboard Collaborative Georgetown Pallet Village. The meeting is slated for June 24th. It starts at 6.30 p.m. Let's go ahead and take a live look right now outside into Ocean City. Our first alert, Chief Meteorologist Paul Williams joins us now with a look at our forecast. Good evening, Paul. Good evening, Maddie. And right now we are still in the midst of the end of spring going into the beginning of summer, officially kicking off tomorrow, by the way. And right now we're at 86 degrees in Milford, courtesy of our Bay Health camera with the dew point temperature of 64. We will drop down to 76 by nine o'clock with mostly clear skies, then dipping down to 74 by 10 o'clock. Here's a look at the temperatures in the 70s along the coast. We are well into the 80s, mid 80s actually, as you move inland, for example, in places like Seaford at 85, Redden 86, and in Milford 86, 82 right now in Milton, and 84 in Millsboro. Now our high today, not really off of off base too far, only a couple of degrees warmer. So today's not that crazy warm day, and even tomorrow is gonna be sane, but the insanity with the heat and the humidity, well that kicks in on Friday, Saturday, and especially Sunday. We'll talk about that in full detail in a moment. Till then, back to you, Batty. Thank you. Well, signs on the boardwalk will have much stricter rules this summer in Ocean City. Shops have to follow a set of rules given by OC Council. Rules such as not putting too, their merchandise too far out on the boardwalk. Also, what is allowed to be displayed outside. What was once a verbal warning will now be a first offense to be a $500 fine. And today we spoke with people about that big change putting their merchandise out that far and I mean it could be a legitimate hazard to people I mean there's a lot of people here at night it's an obstruction so I think it's uh, it seems a little overkill but I think their intentions are pretty rational now police can use discretion to give a verbal warning as well the council says this summer it's a test and they'll discuss the new display ordinance this fall it's a busy day for Rehoboth commissioners on Friday a meeting will be held that could approve an increase in real estate tax it would bump that tax up 1.75% to create a $10 million budget for capital improvements. One of the improvements would include the resurfacing of the first two blocks of Rehoboth Avenue. Bethany Beach is now the first Delaware beach to have a platform to caution beachgoers of hazards they may face. On your screen right now is Safe Beach Day web page, pointing out possible stingray and jellyfish activity, along with riptide hazards and weather conditions. This partnership comes as beach traffic picks up throughout the summer months. Watch out for those jellyfish. If you plan to visit Fenwick Town Hall, make a note of this right here, the Town Hall parking lot, that's getting a facelift. The lot will be closed now until Friday, and that's for paving and striping work. The Seaford School District is investing further in school safety. The district says it's buying four more weapons detection systems. That means starting next school year, Four of the systems will be used every day at Seaford High School. Two systems will be used as needed in the other schools in the district. The district says moving forward, students in grades 6 through 12 will be required to use clear backpacks, shoulder bags, or drawstring bags. And we have a lot more news to get to this evening. How to keep your pets cool and safe from all this hot weather we're about to get. And hot as today may have seen, it's going to be much warmer over the weekend. Details coming right up. First, a local Juneteenth celebration that sheds a light on the importance of the national holiday. When we're back in just 60 seconds. Got a plumbing problem that can't wait? 
then why would you? At FH Fur, we know how frustrating it is to be stuck waiting for help, which is why we offer same day service guaranteed. Whether it's a leaky faucet, a clogged drain, a broken pipe, you name it, the expert plumbers at FH Fur are standing by and ready to get you out of hot water. Or maybe into some hot water, if that's your issue. Same day service guaranteed, regardless of your plumbing predicament. 877 call fur FHFur.com. Nine years ago, we did have a roof put on by a um, local contractor. Um, unbeknownst to us, they laid shingles over shingles. We got the call from Tracy that she had a roof leak. Some contractors, it's not their expertise. If you know what you're looking for with the slope of these roofs, nine times out of ten, there's going to be damage. Or maybe they just don't want to be bothered with the roof on a manufactured home. Uh, I sent a design consultant out here and, and they spoke with her and did an inspection. They showed us exactly what would be done. So this time, I have a 50-year warranty. This is Coast TV News at 6. A day of music, celebration, and commemoration as Milford honors Juneteenth. Chief Meteorologist Paul Williams shows us why this national holiday is so important on a local level. The sound of music filled Milford Bicentennial Park. People coming out to celebrate Juneteenth, which commemorates the emancipation of slaves in the United States, when they finally realized they were actually free to walk away from the plantation. I just feel that Juneteenth is just about everybody. It's about everybody coming together, no matter what color you are, where you're from, just having a nice time, a nice family atmosphere. In Milford, a sense of fellowship, and honoring history, like the Milford Seven, the first integrated class to graduate in Milford in 1965. And as a result of us hanging in tight, doing due diligence, we persevered. And because of our perseverance, because of their backbone, we stand on their backbone, and we persevered, we we're able to make strides today and pave the road, the road for others to follow. This was the second annual celebration in Milford with vendors and music and more. And organizers say there's more to come and more to learn. Sometimes it's hard to, for people to see the importance of small events in the community, but this is where it starts. It starts small and then it grows as we go outside of our community. On this Juneteenth, we honor our history and look forward to a future that should be brighter, better, and inclusive of everyone walking in freedom. And the thing about freedom, it's like tides. As it goes up, it brings all boats much higher. Here's a look at your golf forecast, by the way. By the way, the only thing that you don't want to hire is your golf count score, you know. <sighs> more heat, more water needed, and more practice, probably. Your full forecast coming up. Take a vacation from cleaning and scrubbing and enjoy your summer with a maintenance-free shower with Coastal Bath. As the number one Bath Planet dealer in the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic, Coastal Bath proudly backed by the Good Housekeeping Seal, two-year money-back guarantee. See for yourself, Coastal Bath has countless five-star reviews. It's Coastal Bath's annual sizzling summer savings. Enjoy 2,000 off or no payments, no interest for 18 months. Say hello to relaxation with a hassle-free shower from Coastal Bath. Call today for a free in-home estimate. Honda you want is here. Drive in the moment with the rugged and capable Ridgeline, Passport, and Pilot. Find your adventure with great offers now available on the Honda you want. All from the 2023 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com Best Value Brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. The big issues, abortion, civil rights, health care. When Trump policies were attacking our rights, County Executive Matt Meyer fought back. Now Trump is promising a national abortion ban and huge cuts to health care coverage. Matt's health care plan will reduce costs, not coverage, by increasing competition on the exchange. And Matt's plan will protect women's access to abortion, always. So call Matt Meyer. Tell him you support his plans to protect Delaware values. Your roof is the first line of defense against the elements, but is ready for the next storm? If it's time for a new roof, call Hershey Exterior. As a GAF Master Elite contractor, we offer the industry's best warranty. 
Our roofs come with a Golden Pledge 50-year warranty on materials and a 25-year workmanship warranty that is backed by GAF. Call Hershey Exteriors, your trusted roofing pros, and get 0% financing for 12 months because life is sweeter with Hershey Exteriors. Mom, check my height! As a parent, you do everything you can to provide for your kids so they can grow into their best self. Same height. Sorry. But sometimes you need a little extra help. Thank you! You're welcome. Thanks to Food Lion Feeds, I don't have to worry if he's getting enough of what he needs. And that's made all the difference for us. Here to fill tables and hearts with hope. Let's grow an inch! Yes! Food Lion Feeds, here for every moment. Spring is fading fast. No more waiting. It's time to get the deck of your dreams started. Paul Davis will design, build, or resurface any size deck with the highest quality materials. Our AZAC decks are scratch, fade, and insect resistant with a lifetime warranty. We'll bring the showroom to you, provide you same day estimates, handle permitting, and guide you through the HOA approvals. Save big, enjoy 20% off, plus a $1,000 gift card free towards outdoor furniture from Donway. When you invest in your new deck, call Paul Davis for a free estimate. Weather is sponsored by Paul Davis Restoration, your storm damage experts, here to help now. Sunshine is not necessarily a bad thing. Clear skies is actually what you hope for, but too much of a good thing could be a little bit of a not so great deal. And we're going to have a whole lot of sunshine and a whole lot of heat and a ton of humidity for the weekend. Our dry tech camera in Ocean City highlighting the fact we're going to drop to 72 clear skies for tonight. As far as our highest concern, we warmed up to 86 degrees in Georgetown and in Salisbury, pretty close to the norm for this time of the year. We do indeed have the excessive heat watch that's active in Newcastle as well as northern portion, portions northern of our, our immediate area. But you see, since we're in the general vicinity of this heat advisory that's in effect for most of the northeast, we have to be mindful that even though we're not officially quote unquote under a watch or a warning or anything like that, we're still going to be plenty hot. Now, just as a reminder, remember excessive heat advisory, when we look for the heat index at 100 or two days, excessive heat watches, when we're looking for a heat event between 100 to 104 for the heat index within 24 to 72 hours, and a heat warning is when we're talking about 105 or above, and it's likely to happen within the next 12 hours. Just keep those terms in mind when we start talking about this weekend, okay? 81 for Milton, currently in Lewis and Milton, 86 in Redden. Steamy sunshine for tomorrow, highs in the 80s, 88 in Georgetown, Seaford, and Laurel. Now, as we slide over towards the west, we expect the high of 85 in Cambridge and 87 in Vienna. Then to the south we go for 87 in Salisbury, 85 Chincoteague, and 83 in Ocean City. It's going to feel like the 90s on Thursday afternoon. Now, we skip over the Friday, it's going to feel like 91, 92. But then the heat kicks in on Saturday. It's going to feel like 100 in several locations like Ellendale, Milton, Millsboro, Selbyville. And then the grand prize, how about 103, the heat index force in Millsboro, Selbyville, just to mention among others that will be in the triple digit category. Even as we go into Monday, we're going to peak at about 97 degrees by 6 o'clock in the evening. So we're not quite out of the woods yet for Monday. Tonight, a few scattered clouds hovering and 63 degrees. Tomorrow, mostly sunny and a quick warm up as we warm to 88 degrees. First day of summer. Then the dangerous heat kicks in because by Friday we're looking for 92. Heat kicks in, heat indices or index number expected to climb to 100 or more. And we may be under an advisory by that time. Here's a look at your Paul Davis restoration, the home remodeling extended forecast. By the time we get to Saturday and Sunday, you know what? Stay inside or stay in the shade, but drink plenty of water either way. Thank you, Paul. Well, heat stroke symptoms in humans are some we know. High body temperatures, nausea, headaches, and we can communicate those problems, but our pets, they can't. Symptoms that your pet are having a heat stroke is excessive drooling and panting. Others include restlessness and collapsing. Now, quick fixes the Brandywine Valley SPCA suggests is moving dogs into the shade and wet their paws and body with cool water. The SPCA says you can also offer small amounts of cool water to them and definitely, definitely call the vet if you notice any signs of this. Fort Miles summer, house, summer hours are now in effect Tuesday to Saturday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Sunday hours, those are 10 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. These hours are through September 9th. The museum offers a collection of military history to learn about our hometown heroes.
The Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. Good evening, sports fans. The Phillies hoping to earn their 50th win of the season. Let's head out to Citizens Bank Park. In the top of the second, Jackson Merrill pulls it to right for the solo shot, his eighth of the year. Padres up 1-0. Bottom three, Matt Waldron with a slider that Bryce Harper sails to left center. It's gone, tying the game up at one. Top eight, bases loaded for the Padres and Kyle Higashioka drops it in front of Brandon Marsh. It gets by him, three runs score off the triple. 5-1 Padres, bottom eight, no one on for the fills and Harper blasted down the right field line. It stays fair for her second homer of the game and 17th long ball this year to put the Phillies within three, but San Diego closes it out and ends their road losing streak at nine games with a 5-2 win over the Phillies. And tonight on the final score, check out highlights from Indian River taking on Worcester Prep in Summer League Basketball on DSN at 10.30 p.m. That'll do for sports. Have a great night. We salute the National Guard. The National Guard serves as a unique dual purpose force, supporting both community and country. Members are ready to respond at a moment's notice, whether to natural disasters at home or military engagements abroad. From the floods of New Orleans to the battlefields of Afghanistan, the National Guard has demonstrated steadfast commitment and adaptability. We salute all those who have served and continue to serve in the National Guard. Their dedication is crucial in protecting both state and nation, making them an integral part of our national defense and community resilience. Spicer Brothers and Coast TV are honoring military persons and first responders serving Delmarva. If you have a family member, friend, or community member that you would like to nominate for a Coast TV salute, go to CoastTVSalutes.com. I used to work at a restaurant. I figured out that wasn't for me. So I started doing my research and I found this program. I can come in after work for the night classes. Being able to earn while I learn has set myself up for financial freedom. The adult ed program has helped me be uh, licensed by age of 21 and have a great career ahead of me. I would recommend this program. Check out Sussex Tech Adult Education online today. And see how you can earn while you learn with registered apprenticeship and health profession programs at Sussex Tech Adult Education. Window World of Del Marva, quality and price that can't be beat. Get a certain teed roofing system for only $192.94 per month. No matter the size of the project, you can trust Window World of Del Marva to get it done right. Call now for a free estimate. The best of the best pre-owned vehicles are at IGBurton.com. Del Marva's pre-owned headquarters. We sell only the best of the best. Cars, trucks, and SUVs. And IG Burton will pay you top dollar for your trade-in, no matter what you drive. Shop the best of the best pre-owned vehicles right now at IGBurton.com. From vehicles under $10,000 to vehicles over $100,000. You'll find what you're looking for at IGBurton.com. Nobody beats a Burton deal on pre-owned. Nobody. The Summer of Saving Sale is underway at Carpet and Tile Mart Flooring Super Centers. These deals are hot. Up to 70% off clearance floors mart wide. All in stock to take home today for less. Simply pick, pay, take it away. Or we'll install as soon as you say for free. Plus 0% financing for 36 months. Available, affordable, at your service. The deals don't get hotter than this. Get ready for summer now at Airbase Carpet and Tile Mart Flooring Super Centers. Join us for the June 10 event going on right now at Preston Ford. When the tent goes up, the prices come down. We have a wide selection of over 900 Ford models available for immediate purchase. During this sales event, you can save over $8,000 off the MSRP of select 2024 Ford F-150s. Shop with us online at PrestonFord.com and we'll deliver it to your driveway today. Find your dream car during the June 10 event at Preston Ford. Remember, cars cost less in Preston. Window World of Del Marva, quality and price that can't be beat. Get a premium Craftsman's entry door for only $64.99 per month. No matter the size of the project, you can trust Window World of Del Marva to get it done right. Call now for a free estimate. This summer, pack your bags and head to Ocean City, Maryland for free family fun all summer long. Watch beach movies, build sandcastles, and gaze at colorful kites, all completely free. Bust a move from the beach to the bay with beach dance parties, sunset park party nights, and Sundays in the park with fireworks, all completely free. 
Enjoy arts and crafts, discover Ocean City's history, and be in awe of acrobatic stunts at the circus, all completely free. So get going. Family memories are waiting to be made in Ocean City, Maryland. Plan your trip now at Oceocean.com. WRDE First Alert Weather, brought to you by Ocean City, Maryland. The historic Lewis Farmers Market will be holding its third annual Juneteenth celebration this Saturday, June 22nd. It's a free event, including live music, dancers, spoken word, and food trucks, all at George H.P. Smith Park from 1 to 6. Now, the market shopping hours, there's still 8 to 12 for the Farmers Market before that 1 to 6 celebration. If you want to park, maybe you should do that at Lewis Elementary School. Our Bay Health camera in Milford, we're looking very clear, 85 degrees, dropping to 74 by 10 o'clock with limited cloud cover. We have excessive heat warnings in portions of Pennsylvania, heat advisories, heat advisories throughout the Northeast, and an excessive heat watch in effect for us in Newcastle, but not our counties officially, but we're in the same neighborhood, okay? Now, you can keep up with your forecast by calling our weather line at 443-880-9100, sponsored by Baird, Mandalas, Bruxted, and Federico. Here's a look at your exclusive 10-day forecast. Paul, thank you, and thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 6. For more news, more local weather, download our Coast TV News app. The NBC Nightly News is up next. And we're going to see you later tonight for Coast TV News at 11. Have a great evening.